it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 44 of Star Trek Pretty Care. I was about to say, I got too afraid. <laughs> it is so weird, I mean, to watch a Christmas episode, and it's not Christmas. I think, you know what I was going to do? And I thought this was going to be very stupid, because someone um kind of asked me this, like, no, well, one of my close friends slash subs asked me this around like Halloween because I didn't whatever the Halloween number episode was I didn't have it out until maybe almost around Halloween like maybe a week or a week before and such and I was thinking about this I was like well Christmas is next week and maybe I should release this on Christmas and I was like no because if I do then I would be like almost a week behind if I did it and such but we the thing is I'm not gonna know until the end of this episode if they're either going on break or if they're gonna do another episode but the thing is I think they're gonna go on break because most of all these other shows that are either like 24 episodes or it's like the first half of whatever da, 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 they're going on break and then when January comes they're all gonna come back but who knows other than that let's go ahead and get started episode 44 and three two one go okay so this is also the episode where the big bad finally shows up for the pretty hero which is still weird in my book because yeah especially around christmas hmm Yes. Oh uh, yeah, you can also eat cake. Is it Santa Claus? I, I don't think it's... No, it's the guy who has a... A red nose... A what? Okay. 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 You you do yours, pretty care. Mm hmm Okay. Okay. Mm hmm Mm hmm Mm hmm Mm hmm Mm hmm mm hmm I got a lot of questions right now. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a bit so but it's so weird, like can you believe that next week is the last official full freaking week of 2019? And then after that, 2019 will be over and then we'll be in 2020. I won't be living over on this side of town anymore because I'm officially moving in January. And I will be hella busy in the entire year of 2020 with not only this, but a lot of other things, good opportunities that are going to come for me. Because when I moved back over where I used to live as a kid, um, I'm jumping headfirst into a lot of work. And it's going to have to take back a little bit of things that I'm also so passionate for. But it, it's okay. It's going to be all good. Because there were times where I was sitting here thinking for the past week, I was like, this is going to be so bad. And I was like, no. I think it's going to be a really good opportunity for me and to grow and such. And honestly, I can't wait. I think it's going to be a really good year for me specifically next year because I've had, I think both 20, 2018 and 2019, I think were probably the two worst years for me. And I need 
a good, wholesome year. That's all I want. Nice shoes. Yeah. So cool. <laughs> it looks like he needs a repair. Mm. You, you, hold on. AI, you ain't got no turbo work up repair? Like, that could take maybe four or five hours? Yeah. Mm. Go play. Go no, go play. Capsule balls? Oh. Hey. Hold up. Madoka, let me ask you something. How can you see your girlfriend's house from that far? I mean, you are high up AF, girl. Mm mm. Here, you want to go on the bed since your bed is covered? Okay, hold on. Hold on. I'm going to help you. There you go. There you go. Merry Christmas. <laughs> I 
Well, except the one kid that, you know, kind of stayed up because typically, what do you do when, a, when you're a little kid and you're like, I want to see freaking Santa Claus. You stay up all night, but then eventually you fall asleep. And plus, you know, Lala, you need you to have to go home. So pretty. Oh. Just to know that these are like one of many, the last few moments that they'll all be together. But see, hold up. There, there's something I really want to know. Because of the fact is the fact is, once this is all over, Lala's going to have to leave. But doesn't that also mean that Pua's going to have to leave too? Because they came together. That would make the most sense. I mean, because see, it's going to be hella hard for them to like say goodbye to each other. And I'm not ready for that yet. I need my lips off. Like, gosh, gosh, oh. No. <laughs> oh, my baby looks so cute. The last freaking times we'll probably be seeing here in this damn song. My guy, like, <laughs> just to go the first time when I heard this, and I was like, oh my god, this is a good behind opening song for a transformation scene. And then we get to the last dang episode of the series, 
and I'm just gonna probably be crying my butt off or just smiling and I'm probably gonna be all teared up and I'm just gonna be like oh my freaking god like this is officially over and we're gonna see the new cure and everything and I'm just gonna be like oh god like how I felt when I finished getting a pretty girl mode and Hagato was starting and how in the beginning I had mixed feelings about Hagato and in the end I loved that series just as much as auto mode yeah but I saw auto mode more <laughs> the first thing, that was the first one I did a reaction series to so it's important to me I mean, I know Lena was trying to get a little more re <laughs> redemption in her after for this episode, but still, she's good. Mm. I still want that perfume thing. Oh my god, and I can't find it on Amazon. Not Japan. English Amazon. Yeah, this has got it. Mm hmm. This is. Behind you. There's a point where she's gonna get hit and she's gonna come back. Oh no, he's not. Mm. Of course, the rocket.
So then, no, she's not going to get hers until, what, next week? Then? I'm so caught, caught up. Everybody has theirs. Except stars, and I honestly thought that Star was gonna get hers in this Chris up Chris's episode, but no, it seems like she no because then next week would be a New Year's episode. Apparently, I don't know. We'll find out at the end of this episode. We're almost done with it anyway. Oh, that's why it was so easy to defeat you. You're a doctorate. What the hell? <laughs> Yeah. Hmm. Hopefully before he comes out again. Uh, well, you know what? We can't even count that. That was a freaking doctrine. So when he officially comes out, Hopefully by that time, you know, Capard, Capardo and um, What's Her Face are both, like, kind of on the side of good, because that's what I want before the series ends. Huh. Even though it doesn't snow here in Florida, just seeing snow in anime still warms my heart. Honestly, that was a damn good Christmas episode. Even with the fact is, yes, the big bad supposedly comes in, even though it wasn't him. It was a nocturne. But still, I think it was really different because let's go back to this entire series. When hasn't uh, the big bad ever come for a Christmas episode? And especially going back to last week when, I, when we all saw the damn preview and I was like, something ain't right about this. <laughs> because Seeing the big bad come in a Christmas episode is a little weird because typically Christmas episodes are supposed to be happy, warm, and nice, and sweet, and to just reflect on the day of being with friends and family and celebrating, you know? So it was a little weird, especially to have the main baddie to come in this episode, but I still enjoyed it for what it was. I mean, to me, I still kind of wish they did something that, you know... A little bit of kitty kitty video all in mode did where they could have made something together, but they delivered presents. That was something that they did together. I still would have liked to see them all like cook something. They could have baked something. I don't know, it would have been a nice, but yeah, giving presents to little kids, that was sweet. But I don't know. I mean, to the fact is that we're getting closer and closer to the end of the series, and even these girls are knowing that there it's almost done with this show. we're almost done with the show and the fact is they're going to be moving on in their lives and going into their brand new chapters the next new chapters of their lives and everything yeah just start So that probably will be the last episode he'll be featured in as a buddy. Okay, so then it seems like they're gonna have one more episode come out for um, 2019, which would be next week. Um, no, not even ne this weekend. This weekend. This weekend. Yeah, this weekend. But I feel like maybe after that, they'll probably take like a week off and stuff because like I said, most of these shows are either ending this week or next week to either end for fall 28, uh, 2018, 2019, or just taking a break until maybe like the first, second, or third week of 2020. I'm not 100% sure. But 
um, continuing on with the fact that we're almost done with the show and we're going to really be in feeling good, feeling good. Fe yeah. Feeling good pretty here. And the fact is these girls are now, um, I would say out of the five to know already what they're going to do for their career wise, like later on, like where they're going to go to school, what they're going to do, what they want to be when they grow up. Uh, we know what technically uni wants to do. We know what Lala wants to do. I think Hikaru is really the only one who's left. She's that one who, you know, yes, she's the main character. We've seen her POV countless of times. But she's kind of the only one who we've necessarily haven't really seen an answer for. She wants to follow, essentially, in her father's footsteps. Because I think they mentioned that, especially when her dad came home and such. And how she wants to go out and look for aliens and everything, too. Um, and travel the world, but still, I mean, that was episodes ago, like really ages ago, it feels like forever, but it's, to me, something like that, it needs to be brought back again, because of the fact that we're so close to the ending of the series. There's one more thing I do want to talk about, and it's not really about, um, Star, I want to talk a little bit about feeling. Okay, so I've been seeing, um, pictures around the internet for like between Facebook and Twitter, a little bit of Tumblr here and there, but mainly I would say Facebook and Twitter. Um, I've seen stuff that kind of looks like the new girls and it's supposedly, um, we've seen, we've seen the pictures of the new cure pink, the new cure blue and the new, um, orange. And I think the one that looks the most interesting as of right now is the orange one because of the fact that she looks um, possibly European. She could look Australian. She's a lot, um, I would say, you know, the blue and pink look more fair-skinned while um, the orange one looks more, a little bit of lighter, darker than the other two. A little bit. She looks very almost like American. Almost. So she could literally be a different um oh my god. She could have another like a, a person who has another culture inside her. Just like Elena. And I, I honestly really want that because I thought it was something different that they brought to this show with having someone who is who has a different ethnic background to bring someone who looks exactly like them into this show. I have seen a lot of people especially with the backlash towards Elena. I've seen people who love Elena for who she is and what she is as a character and how she brings in um, certain characteristics that the show has um, essentially never done before. And then I've seen a lot of anti-backlash and saying that they should need to do this. But it's like, we're, we're going into, the 20, <laughs> into 2020 next year and I'm glad that this show is going outside of its comfort comfort zone it's been doing it for like i think in my opinion it did it ever since uh go princess i think because almost like there are times where i look at some of the old pretty cure series and how some of them somewhat have like the same things almost what they want to do and stuff it is some of them like especially from go princess to now somewhat maybe have like the same job like career wise what they want to do or whatever but they're still different in personality wise or like anything and that's why i in my opinion will say that from go princess pretty here to now they've been good they're able out like probably count like a little one like smile did really good on it too i think there's one more probably the one that came before Go Princess pretty good. They also did really well on their story and stuff and characteristics. But, I mean, there's still, like, things that I've been hearing. And so what I'm hoping is with this new girl who does come in feeling good, and the fact is which it's supposed to possibly focus on animals. So I feel like what they're possibly going to do is somebody's going to be a vet. If it's focusing on all animals... Somebody's going to be a veterinarian. Somebody may be, like, doing the study of animals, which I... Mm, no. That other word is the study for plants. I'm trying to think there's something. It's not a veterinarian, but somebody's going to be a veterinarian. Somebody's going to be something. And then some, um, a marine biologist, something that uh, Cure Mermaids did, I believe. Uh, and then, like, anything. But I kind of hope that there is one who likes to do something with entertainment and animals. Because, okay, here's the one thing that I love to do, and I would want to make it into a career. So, I've been on YouTube for, like, three years, and I love being in front of the camera a lot. 
And I really never thought I was going to want to do this because at first I always wanted to be an actress and famous and ish like that. And essentially in a way I am famous, but not like hugely famous, like all the other freaking YouTubers, big behind names on YouTube and ish like that. But I'm like a little small famous in a way, but I'm like, yeah, because um, people know who the frick I am. But I've always wanted and I have like a very big mind on pop culture and ish like that and I literally told my mom this one day and my mom was like ecstatic about it um journalism specifically entertainment journalism and if you've seen like um Access Hollywood uh e-news and stuff like that that's specifically what I want to do and I would love for whether it is Pretty Care and Pretty Care possibly has uh, maybe even done this I don't know I don't really remember um, or they may do it in the future where one of the girls wants to go into the entertainment business and entertainment business and be a journalist at the same time and want to be on TV almost like basically someone who talks like not like Oprah or something, but something as interesting as that. I mean, the one thing that I love about this show pretty here in general is they end up showing like little kids, like it's okay to like have dreams as young as you are right now, because sometimes you never know truly what's going to happen. And I honestly can't wait to see what I am going to do in the future because, like I said, there's a lot of ish that I'm going to be doing next year and I'm going to be hella busy and so I, But I think it's really nice. And I hope that with people, especially like people who are getting into anime and that they can see themselves into characters and stuff and that they can see their dreams being foretold in anime, I think it's really interesting. Because, I mean, we're, we're now going into next year where they're doing a fashion um, type anime about models and I am hella excited for that as someone who wanted to be a model <laughs> I could still be a model at my age I mean I'm only 26 years old and shit like that but still I can but still like there's a lot of things that I just love and I hope one day it could just happen and someone just watches the show and they're like I want to do that for the rest of my life shit like that you know just mm warms my heart other than that guys that is my reaction view to episode 44 of star trinkle pretty here if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out i officially think this is the longest video I've ever done for pretty care in general um <laughs> also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the match squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next week for episode 45 i'm gonna go ahead and say this now um merry early christmas happy holidays and I hope you guys have a fantastic day next week with your friends, your family, whatever. Happy New Year, early New Year, even though I ain't the New Year's yet because I'm going to be officially be saying this between either this week or next week because, you know, once next week comes and all these last shows I'm coming, they're going to come out, I'm going to be hella busy and I'm going to be like, hey, I ain't going to have time to say Merry Christmas to every single person in the comment, but also I will be saying it in other things. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye! Thank you.